If I were to tell you that I had a book that would change your life, that it's literally the most important thing you will ever read, and it are the truths we crave in life, you'd probably want that book, right? In fact, you'd more than likely Amazon Prime the thing to your house today. Yet many of us, if not most of us, already have this book, and it collects dust on the nightstand. The Bible is the most important document we will ever read in our entire lives. And we know this. We say it all the time, but for some reason, we don't treat it that way. Now, please don't misunderstand me. This isn't me condemning you for not reading your Bible more. I, too, often diminish reading scripture in my life. And I know I speak for many of us when I say I get frustrated with myself for my lack of consistency in reading the Bible. The Bible can be a very daunting book, right? But even calling the Bible a book can be misleading. If you go to the Bible like you would any other book, you're going to miss out. We need to treat the Bible like a library. It was written over a period of thousands of years, 66 different books, and over 40-some authors, all inspired by the Holy Spirit, and yet it tells this one big, beautiful, overarching narrative. Not to mention, it's alive and it's active, it's sharper than any two-edged sword, and it's able to speak to us more clearly than even a person right in front of us. We often say we want to hear from God, but God's primary mode of speaking to his people is his written word. I challenge us to take him at his word and see what he has to say. And look, I know it's often easier said than done, but there are some helpful tips that we can use uh, to help us understand the Bible more. Here's some that devout men and women of our faith have helped me with. Number one, it needs to be the thing we do before we get started with our day. Realistically, we need to get up earlier than we would and make time for it. Look, you can read the Bible at any time during the day that it's nothing magical or holy in the mornings. But something that Robbie told me when I first met him was that reading scripture before your day begins is so important because if you don't start your day viewing it through the lens of scripture, this world will devour you by noon. And isn't that the truth? Seek him first, literally before anything else, and it will shape your perspective. Secondly, often the Bible can be so hard to read because while so much of it is relatable and applicable, much of it is difficult to understand because of its references and cultural cues. They're just so different than ours. This is why context is king when reading scripture. Fortunately, we live in an amazing time in history where we have access like never before to theologically rich material to better understand God's word. If you've not watched any of the Bible Project's videos, you're missing out. They're phenomenal. They might appear to be for kids because they're animated, but let me assure you, they are theologically sound and deep. Thirdly, once you are about to start reading, pray. Even if the prayer is, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing, or I don't want to read today, can you help me? That's a great prayer to start with. If the Holy Spirit guided the authors to write every word, he can open up scripture for you in ways that are profoundly life-giving. Remember, the Bible isn't just a book, it's God's living word. Finally, don't set lofty goals. That's not me encouraging a nonchalant attitude towards reading scripture, but if you currently only read the Bible occasionally, Odds are your next step isn't going to be reading the Bible for an hour a day every single day. Can that be your goal? Absolutely. But just like an exercise, you'll burn out so quickly if you don't work your way up. I know so many people who think, well, I cannot give God an hour this morning, so I can't give him anything. It's just not true. Maybe it is starting with only five minutes a day, but consistently giving him all you have in those five minutes each morning Five minutes of intentional scripture reading daily is better than nothing, but don't stop there. Keep going. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light on my path. In times like these, we need to be guided by the light. Read his word every day, even when you don't want to. I promise you, before you know it, reading the Bible will become part of the rhythm of your life, and you won't want to start your day any other way.